around the globe are videos. What the heck is this? It's moving. Photos and sounds that defy explanation. Is it some kind of unidentified object? Are we looking at something that's CGI? What are they? Some sort of bizarre mutation. Extraordinary claims need extraordinary proof. The proof is out there returns for a brand new season. The series investigates videos, photos, and audio recordings of the unexplained to determine what is real and what is fake. Joining us now is the show's host, Tony Harris. Hey, Tony. Good to see you both. Good, good morning, good morning. Well, let's start with the first one, evidence that a massive unidentified sea creature is uh, attacking sharks. Let's go to the video. <laughs> He's giggling. Let's go to the video. Do we have it? There it is. Oh, this is just video so, of a shark. So what did you find? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh! Uh, you see those wounds? Yeah! yeah. Yeah, yeah, and and see, that's it right there. So, you know, the stuff that we're getting from the sea is the most fascinating. For me, that's why we kind of led with that uh, this season, because so much of the sea is unexplored. So w whenever we get something that uh, we can put a kind of a time stamp on and there's real controversy around it, is, is this attack uh, by a megalodon or, or something that we haven't identified yet. That's really fascinating to me. And so I'm, I'm anxious to sort of push that forward in the show. So uh, I won't tell you what our verdict is on this, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What could attack a shark and- Another shark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be skeptics, Tony, but let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. Now, fires in the sky. Yes. Do you have a video of that too? I, yeah. I hope so. Oh, yes. It looks like flashlights. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we get most commonly, right? We get videos from people. Of course, our show is crowdsourced, right? So right. We're, we're telling, at the end of every episode, we're telling folks to keep those cameras on their phones yeah. rolling, right? And send it when you see it, say something, yell, scream, whatever else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then send the videos in to us. But we get a lot of these, right? These, these lights in the skies and send the other from all over the world. And, and people, get, people get frightened by them, right? And so they, they send them in to us. And, and in many cases, we can explain what it is, right? And, but it gives people that comfort level. I found it. I'm, I'm following your admonition. I'm sending it to you. Have the team look at it. Have the team look at it. And, and we can explain it in 85, 90% of the cases. Oh. Well, that's refreshing. Uh, let's uh, video showing girl with superhuman strength. Mm. Oh, this is great. Isn't this a great piece of video, though? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that's it, right? So that's what we get. That's that's the material that we either find ourselves, but in most cases, after season one, uh, well, we were we were desperate to find any video to see if the, the concept of the show would work. Right. <laughs> Did you find out why she's so angry? <laughs> yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. It's powerful, right? Yeah. But, but understand, there are properties in the tree that assist this astounding yeah, video. Uh -huh. I would think but, so. But Larry and Robin, that's what we're getting at. So yeah. in, in cases, we are, you know, you, you say this and people think you're going to be feeding them broccoli for the hour, but we're not. But you, we're, we're kind of a science show wrapped in an anomaly show, wrapped in a paranormal show. So if you come to the show Fridays at 10 on the History Channel, I guarantee you, you're going to learn something that's going to make you a hit at your next dinner party. So Tony, you did you ever wonder in this day and age when everybody has a phone, a camera on their phone, why don't yeah. we have a clearer picture of something? I mean, we can't see Bigfoot. We don't see an alien, you know, waving out of a spacecraft, and it's only just these lights that are blurry back in the sky. What, what are your thoughts, Tony? Where's, where's uh, Jeff Goldblum and, and Will Smith and Independence Day <laughs> sitting across yeah. from the alien, right? Right. right. Yeah. I, look, I think what we've got right now, we're at a place now where we've made what I think is kind of like a huge quantum leap forward. You remember when people who used to explore these things, people like me, <laughs> were shut it off to the margins of society. They were called whack jobs and yeah. everything else, right? They would, they would capture something and try to share it with their families, and their families were like, okay, let's slide your meals under the door. <laughs> <laughs> but, we, but, we, but we've gotten to a place now where we've got congressional hearings on this. So, yeah. you know, you can be skeptical if you like, but uh, we've got congressional hearings with the Pentagon involved, and we've got military pilots who are in the skies who are saying, I know what tech is under me and around me. 
in this billion dollar aircraft, what I'm seeing over there capturing on my radar and now I'm recording it, I can't identify that. So I think we're getting, I think we're getting really close. And part of the reason I think that 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 we'll be around for a few more seasons, knock wood, you know, I've got a mortgage to pay off, <laughs> is, is that we're getting really close, I think, to um kind of mic drop moment somewhere, somehow. We've gone from public congressional hearings to closed door congressional hearings, and we don't know what's being shared in those in those hearings. So I, I think we're getting closer, and and I think that we'll, we'll capture it on well, in camera phone somewhere. Well, Tony, thanks for joining us. If you have a lead on a weird occurrence or a setting, you can email info at theproofisoutthere.tv. You can also tweet Tony. Uh, there's well, how the about emailing it to us, emailing it to us at wgntv.com? Because he wants to see it first, and then we'll forward it to Tony. <laughs> and, and then we'll pack up the team and come to Chicago and visit with you and analyze it live. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Hey, Thank Paul. you.